Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to uh, take a look at the mostly finished project here of our compacted coal factory. Uh, the build itself is finished, but it's not running at full capacity uh, because we need to mark four belts for it to run at full capacity. Um, I have spent some time off camera um, tuning this place, and I'll show you a couple things that we did uh, to get it to run good but as you can see it is smooth as baby's butt except for that little <laughs> that little little glitch right there um there's there's something i think it's a water extractor that just occasionally yeah i don't know i i haven't figured out why that's happening but as you can see it's running fairly smooth but the other thing is i'm not really i'm not really worried about it because it's not in its final state you know once we do get it at its full capacity then that's when we'll really go through and you know make sure that everything is is fully tuned but uh, as you can see the uh, oh, let's go ahead and go into fly mode here um, so as you can see it is finished as far as the build goes and so we have all four of our banks up but I do have uh, I did have to turn some machines off and underclock some stuff because we are uh, short of you know the full 300 per minute capacity of the coal sulfur and then compacted coal and so uh, what I had to do is I had to turn off these four machines they're just turned they're completely turned off not running and then underclock this machine in order to accommodate 270 per minute which is the max that we can currently handle based upon our belts and then um, this assembler is turned off and this one is underclocked a little bit as well uh, to to handle that so um, yeah I, I had a I had a, a, a couple of little glitches and blips but it was primarily if not entirely because I just hadn't done the math correctly um, so once I did do the math correctly, then it really, you know, leveled out and is running, I would say, probably 95% efficient at, at the moment, you know, as you can see here. But there is the occasional little blip on the line, and I'm not, like I said, I haven't really determined exactly what that is. But it's good enough for now for, that I'm not going to worry about it until we, we get it at full capacity. All right, so there's that. Um, I have also s spent some time off camera setting up my... My power infrastructure so I basically have you know power lines run all the way down to the other end of the uh, down over by the waterfall there ready for our our steel factory when we get to building that and I've also separated I, I've connected all of the street lights so all the street lights are now connected but I've put them uh, on their own grid so that's what this switch here represents um, and that way you know if uh, if we have to troubleshoot power or whatever, we can completely separate the street lights from everything else. Because there's quite a few street lights uh, on this road. I haven't counted all of them, but um, there's there's a lot, right? And they they do add up. And each one of these lamps or lights uses a one megawatt. So, you know, you figure we probably have maybe 250 ish in uh, on the entire roadway that I currently have. So, you know, that's a pretty big chunk of power. So I decided to separate that um, also onto its own grid, both on this end and on the other end of the factory as well. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, jump in here, and then I'll show you a couple other things that we've done. But what, uh, what I've decided to do next is I really, really need and want plastic and rubber um, because that's just kind of holding us up from getting you know mark four for example and and some other things that that we need uh, I want plastic so that I can use the coated concrete for our, you know doing our decoration on the pyramid uh, we need mark four and there's there's other you know in fact every other milestone currently that we need to do requires either plastic or rubber and so, you know, we're, we're, we're being held up by that too. So the plan is that we're going to set up just a small temporary and sort of kind of portable 
well, I don't know if portable is the right word, but just a real small plastic and rubber production. Maybe even, we might even make some fuel too because, you know, when if you guys didn't know this, when you make plastic and rubber, you have a byproduct that you have to do something with and you can take that byproduct and actually make fuel out of it. Um, it's just that we don't really have anything yet we can do with that fuel um, because we need to milestones for packaging and uh, you know to to turn it into like package fuel that we could like say use in our jetpack or our vehicles um, but we can't you know we can't get the packaging until we start getting the rubber and the plastic so anyway uh, as you can see on the left hand side here I do you know I have been I've run power lines down through here I took the uh, sulfur mining operation down here off of the street lights because you know because that's how we had originally uh, hooked it up and um, have that have it now connected you know to the power grid down here and so we have the you know the power run all the way down here and if we do more operations down here in the future you know the the power's there so we got that done and the good news is that well, we actually have oil a lot closer to us than I I thought I did just a little bit of exploration off camera, and um, there's oil basically right on the other side of that mountain. I mean, it's actually very close. And the little canyon that we built our 300 megawatt coal power plant in, um, that goes through to the other side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build just kind of a, a little makeshift road through there. It's not going to be, you know, a big, a, a nice fancy road like this road is. Uh, for one thing, there isn't enough room, really, to, to build a road like this through there. But it's going to be big enough to where we can get a tractor through there to bring the plastic and rubber back to us over on this side. Um, I thought about just setting the oil well over there and running the oil pipeline all the way back over here. But I think I, 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 think I, I would rather not do that. I, I think I would rather just set up the refineries and... All of that over by the oil and then just truck the plastic and rubber back to us uh, but you can see I ran the you know the big power lines all the way down here too and have them connected over to our smaller power plant and also made myself some parking spots here so this switch here is the other end of the of the road light grid um, and so again it, it's all connected right now and by the way, we are currently uh, producing uh, 4,335 megawatts, but that will go up once we can get the compacted coal factory up to full capacity. Um, okay, so, and then over here, uh, I also set up a little substation for, um, we're calling this the Oasis power plant, uh, to also separate, separate it so it's not on the main grid either in case we needed to isolate it for troubleshooting purposes. Okay, so that's pretty much get you caught up on uh, everything so far. And so what we are going to work on, on this uh, in this episode, rather, is getting that oil and stuff set up. So on the right-hand side of my screen, you can see that I have a to-do list with three refine, uh, refineries and one oil extractor. I don't know for sure if that's going to be everything we're going to need, but we're going to start with that and then, you know, go from there. Uh, so I'm going to grab some extra concrete because we're going to need to, you know, do some, like I said, some road building. And um, we might want uh, a little bit of extra plate and rods, too. This road is not going to be uh, fancy, and it might not even be permanent. But we have to, you know, we have to build a road in order to get a tractor over, you know, over here to, to haul the stuff. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an, another truck station over here and put some storage in this area to store the rubber and plastic. Now, this is not going to be our main rubber and plastic production. It's just a temporary, you know, small setup to, to get us, you know, get us through our milestones and what, you know, what we need uh, for the time being. But we'll do something more substantial, uh, you know, as time goes on. All right, so let's see. I think the first thing I want to actually do then is I want to build a tractor. And so, yeah, let's do that. And I want to 
make sure that I have a full stack of modular frames in my inventory because I don't have a depot on that yet. I did also start restart the uh, versatile frames and the automated wiring. And my plan for the automated wiring is just to fill this bin up because the, the top bin here is already completely full. And then fill the second bin and then, then we'll stop making that and we're just going to store this for later use because we will need it later. Same thing with the versatile frames. We're, we're you know, we're making enough. We're, we're making 2,500 essentially so that we can put that into phase three. And we have one, two, three, four times eight is 48. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, 50, sorry, 50 times 8, 8, 48, that would be 4,800 divided by 2, so 2,400, actually it looks like, I think we have enough, I think we have 2,500 here, um, all right, let's do this then, let's, let's grab that and take it up and see if that's everything we need. All right, that, get <coughs> that gives us 1550. Um, let's see if we have enough to do the rest of it. Sixteen fifty-seven. No, we don't. We don't ha quite have enough yet. Okay, so now that I know that, um, let's just keep those in there. So I, I miscounted that, but that's okay. Nothing new there. Um. All right, well, we're we're definitely well on our way. We got 1550 up there. So, we'll keep working on getting those done. The modular engines and the adaptive control units are going to be more involved, so we'll worry about those later, but at least we'll have the the frames out of the way. All right, let's grab some biofuel here for our tractor. Okay, so the tractor, uh, the route that the tractor's going to take, and I haven't, I've very loosely planned this out, so we might run into some snags, but we'll see. Basically, I'm just going to have it travel along this little back road here. This limestone node kind of in the way. All right, now when we get here, we're going to have to do some stuff here. So let's get some of this biomaterial out of the way. Zoop that to to there, and uh, this. I mean, I guess he, I guess he could get around this, but normally <clears throat> I would keep these straight, but we kind of need to move it over out of the way. So let's put it right, um, maybe right in the middle here. <clears throat> All right, so we're connected to that foundry and the two constructors. No. I think that's it, right? Everything running? We got green lights there. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. Um All right, let's put a ramp here.
doesn't give a whole lot of room for turning, so let's bring this back one. That should work. Um, I could... I could blow this rock up, but I'll probably destroy the trees in the process. So we'll just have to drive around it. Whoop. Let's also fill that in. And then when we get over to here, we're going to need more ramps. Oh, I guess I have some ramps there. Let's just put another one in right here then. All right, that's good. And then this is about as far as we can go at the uh, to this point here. So, what we could maybe do... <sighs> um, alright, let's... Let's do this. And this. Have him drive out over this way. tight getting through there, but it is what it is. I'm trying to decide if I want to make this... Yeah, let's make this asphalt. I think that'll look better. We should probably also put some like road barriers up, but let's hold off on that for now just because I want to make sure I have enough concrete for this. Now the road starts to angle this way from here, so I think the way we're going to handle that is we're going to... Uh, let's go out one more here and then we're going to hold control down and then we can ha we have more fine increments that we can use let's try that it seems to be pointing in the right direction Um, okay, yeah, so let's remove this and this and get this over to here <clears throat> and we'll, yeah, we've got a little bit of a gap there. Uh, what I need to actually do is bring that over a little bit. Let's lock it and then slide it over to there. Yeah. Okay, so for this situation, I hmm, if we uh, okay, first of all, let's go with the half foundation. And turn it this way. 
And then we'll um, do... Oh, well, that's not going to work very well, is it? What if we... I know that there's a way you can make this work if you get a little fancier with it. I'm trying not to get too fancy here. Put you... Uh, I want you to go... There. Okay. I'm still not going to... Well, okay, what if we... I think what you have to do, if I remember right, to get this to work is you go, you get a metal beam and you put the beam uh, like this. And then you See, the problem though, there, though, is the beam's too high. All right. What about trying this with a... <coughs> a road barrier? get a one of these and put it there but what we have to do is we have to go into vertical and um, move it down which I think we've done no we haven't if we do this with a one meter and make it go down vertically, let's try that. Let's go one meter half. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then. No, I've got to get it. I didn't have that on the road barrier, I had it on the road itself. There. Okay, now we're on vertical, so go down. Yeah, there we go. Now take this piece off and this piece off. It's it's not perfect, but I think it'll work. Especially if we put road barriers there, it'll kind of hide it. Okay. Put this back on Zoop. Oh, shit. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay. We got a, a bigger one over there. Oh, jeez, look how many that one releases. It's crazy. Okay. Hatcher remains. There's a purple slug right here. Look at that. 
Nice. I didn't even see that there until just now. That explains why we had so many hatchers, though. Okay, let's continue our road here. Okay, now we want to go that direction. Uh, let's do a, a quick scan. And the oil is just like right in here. Yeah, right there. So it's not, as you can see, as the crow flies, it's very close to us. It's just I got a big, huge mountain in the way. There's a pure node there and a normal there. And then there's a couple of impure nodes right here. But for our purposes, the impure node will probably be just fine. Okay. So, um, I'm thinking, maybe we go out a little further. Oops. What are you doing? There we go. That's weird. Okay, if we can get... Here, let me do that scan again for a second. Yeah, we need to, we need to come through here. I'm almost wondering, though, if we should keep going on the line we are until we get to about here, so that way we can go straight south through to get through here. You know what? I tell you what. Let's go. Let's just go look over there for a second. All right. So here's the first impure node, and I think there's another one. There should be another one real close by over here. Oh, right there. Okay, so those are the two impures. Oh, you know what though? I only brought enough stuff to make one oil well. What? How much can we pull off of here with one extractor? 60 per minute. Okay. That's should mm, yeah i mean that's enough just a matter of how much we want to make right um so that's directly east going this way all right here's what we're gonna do then i think i'm just gonna set this up with one extractor for now because we don't need these this stuff in mass massive quantities we just need some you know Can't stand on this ledge right here? Really? What the hell, man? There we go. Very cool looking over here. This is the Spider Coast for anybody who doesn't maybe know that. Uh, the far east end of it anyway. Okay, let's grab ourselves some foundations. 
go back to concrete, grab the four meter, and put that on the grid. I have to think about how I'm gonna. Oh, I guess I'm still in fly mode. I'm gonna actually set this up because refineries are pretty large. I think what we'll do is. Let's put the extractor down and point it this direction. Yeah, we don't need those. Now let's run these. Set up a little pad going this way to put the machines on. So you're going to produce 60 crude per minute and what we're going to want to do then is we're going to want to put down one refinery. I'm just going to put them down here for now. That's not necessarily um, their permanent spot. But we want to set one to plastic and one to rubber. All right, so you're going to need 30 crude per minute, and you're going to need 30 crude per minute. Perfect. Okay, so that, that works out great. And then you're both... Okay, so you're going to output 20 heavy oil, and you're going to output 10 heavy oil. So that's going to give us 30 heavy oil residue. So we could put the uh, put another refiner over here. I'd really like to make fuel, but I need a packager for that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to turn the crude into coke and just sink it until we can unlock packaging. And then I'll probably come back out here and set up a packager and make fuel and package the fuel. It's going to give us better fuel for the jetpack and for our vehicles. But for starters, we're just going to make a Coke. So what we'll do is we'll output the heavy oil from those two and use it to make Coke. And we'll just need to underclock this, I think, to 90 to set, yeah, to set that to 30 per minute because that's what these are going to be outputting. And then the coke itself will just sink. Coke, petroleum coke is like a cheap version of coal. So you have coal and then the step up from coal is compacted coal. And then, but a step down from coal is petroleum coke. And it just, it's an efficiency thing. So normal coal, a, a coal generator will burn 15 coal, but petroleum coke, it takes 25 but compacted coal only takes 7.14. Um, so anyway, the point being, it's not super valuable. So the simplest thing to do is just to, to sink it until we can come back here and convert this heavy oil residue into fuel, packaged fuel. Right, okay, so that's the plan there, but we need to, we need to get the road out here, finish getting the road out here, and we also need to get power out here before we can do anything more. All right, so let's get back to our road and get it over here. And I'm starting to think too that I'm going to I'm going to angle this sooner. So let's back the tractor up. Back. Let's just put the tractor away for now. I just wanted to drive it out here, you know, so I could figure out what the route was going to be. So if we aim right for there, then we're basically heading directly for our platform. 
Um, okay, so that means I think we want to start. Let's uh, pull all of this down. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, that's kind of creepy. The reflection made it look like that water was like <laughs> 10,000 feet deep. Okay, anyway, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put this on here. We're going to hold down control, and we're going to tilt it. Um, I think maybe one more this way. All right, now let's also... No, that's not what I want to do. Can we move it this way? All right, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I, I think we can get this to work. There we go. All right, now, if we put that there and we might be able to actually angle this one. Can we bring, bring it into here to fill that part of the gap. The nice thing about the asphalt texture is it doesn't really flicker at all when you overlap stuff, so that, that makes it nice. All right, now let's put you here. Uh, here, and then problem is I can't really see exactly where it's going to want to go. Freeze it there for a second. Yeah, that's way too much of an angle. Okay, I got a different idea. Let's put... Let's just put you there so we have a platform to rest on. And then we'll... You know what else would help is if I... Let me actually check something here. I almost think we need to cut it even sharper than this. Like another another click. Why? Why is that a four meter foundation? I don't know. That one's a four meter as well. It should be two meters. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's try this again. Um, we need to cut it a little sharper. Maybe right there, but then we want to push it out. Here. I need to put another one of these down temporarily so it has something to rest on. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, now if we... Yeah, that's good, because that's just... Just barely going by the edge of the cliff, so that's just about perfect. Okay, so let's put another one down here. <coughs> um, maybe we'll leave that one in place and put that there. Um, 
All right, now. Yeah, put this here. And then turn this this way. Just trying to get it right at the corner there. Got a little bit of a, a glitch there. Okay, so now let's remove this. Hmm. I wonder if this would be easier... Let's try the road barriers again. Okay, lock it there, push it out there. That's close. Okay, let's lock that in place. And then we'll put you there. Bring it as far this way as it'll go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, I forgot though. Darn it. We need to use the one meter for this. So we can go vertical with it. All right. So back to there. Now, if we move it forward, no, keep it there and do a half nudge that way. Okay. That's really close. It's not perfect, but... It's really close. Okay, we'll put that in place, and then we'll put another one under it. And we're done with that one. Now, let's remove this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a, a half block. So let's get this again. What if we move that back a little bit? Like I said, I mean, there's ways to, to do this. Oh, that's, that's not bad there. And make it, make it look like a really nice curve and stuff. Um, it involves using catwalk platforms and stuff like that. But let's just see if we can keep working it this way. Okay, so I want a half foundation, one meter. I want to put you on there. Okay, that's really good on that corner. But we need to bring it in a little bit on this corner, which then throws it off there a little bit. Um, okay, what if we grab the half foundation? What if we just turn it ourselves? And um, what does that look like? That's good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's workable. Damn it, Jim. Oh, shit. It wasn't turned the right way. Try it again. Needs to go this way. Uh, if I...
Get it back up there. And go vertical here. And then go down. Are you going down? Doesn't seem to want to go down. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to call this good for now. But I'm going to make it a point to come back here later and and redo this a little more nicely. It's just that right now at this point in time, I don't want to spend any more time on that. I want to get the I want to get this oil going. And it's it's not absolutely atrocious. It's just Kind of rough around the edges quite literally speaking right so yeah we're gonna we're gonna just go with it we did a good job of aiming it that's for sure all right now uh let's see i think what we want to do here is maybe get a two meter ramp That's gonna I think that'll work for a for a temporary setup. If this was a permanent setup, I'd do better, but temporary and good enough. Now, um what we're gonna wanna do next is let's just take those back down. What we're going to want to do next is get power down here. And we also want to set up a truck station. So let me think about how that's going to go. We'll get the tractor out. Okay, so the tractor will come down the road. It'll go up here. So if we put the truck station, like, right to the to the left right here and it can load up and then it can just flip a UE here and be go on its merry way again adequate for a temporary setup okay so get a truck station out. I didn't actually account for this, but I think we'll be okay in my to-do list. So let's see. Transport truck station. Alright, so it's going to drive up there. Why don't we put, maybe put it right about here-ish. We have enough room to get the belts in behind. Yeah, we should be able to make that work. We pull it this way further. Drive up here, unload. <coughs> mm. 
Maybe I'll bring it to there. Okay. Good. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go back on foot. And I'm going to run po a power line all the way down here. And then when I get back, we'll put this thing together. All right, guys. I got the power ran down here. And I also went ahead and put the road barriers in as well. And we could also... I'm not going to do this whole entire thing right now. But we could also do... Um, Probably want to do the side uh, side dotted line like that. Oops. Then we have to flip it around and do it like this. So I'll take care of that later, though. That's pure cosmetics. <coughs> okay. Also, I have some kind of bad news. I think I'm coming down with COVID. <laughs> the reason I think that is because my dad has COVID and he lives with with me and my wife. And yeah, not good. So you might hear me ca uh, hacking and coughing and sneezing and all that in the, the next several episodes. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and hook you up. <laughs> I got the fucking hiccups. <clears throat> And here we go. Crude oil, baby. This thing's cool. It'll blow a flame out the top here in a second. Watch it. Yeah, it comes out of the back of that that little thingy there. Watch it like completely roast us. <laughs> anyway, okay, it will at some point. Maybe when it gets the excess. Okay, this is going to be super simple setup here. Um, I guess I don't have any pipe stuff on my toolbar, but that's okay. We we don't have to run a lot of pipes, so we'll just pull it out of the menu. Uh, logistics. Pipeline junction. Yeah, that should be good enough. Are those lined up by chance? No, they're not. Okay. Well, again, temporary setup. I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right. Yeah, we'll bring you to you. And you can go right in there, except for let's make this neat. We don't have straight mode on pipes, so we have to do this the old-fashioned way. And since these are oil pipes, we want them to be black. Okay, so these won't start taking in power until, or I mean the oil until we power them up. So to run power to you guys, why don't we do this? We'll take back on our normal toolbar here. Right on the inside of that seam. Oh, oh, whoops. We'll bring you down to... That's probably good enough. Then we're going to put one right in the center here. Move it over to there. And up. And you, on, you can go right there. Yeah, that looks good. Um, let's actually turn these off for a second. Okay, so I would, uh, are those lined up? Yeah, they are. Okay.
So let's get another pipe junction. And we'll just put it right there. That should be good. you lining up okay so that'll send the heavy oil residue out into here and then you're gonna make the coke and let's bring you down to here here and then we just need a sink and again like I said earlier I'll come back out here after we um, unlock packaging and redo this to make packaged fuel for us but for now we have to we have to deal with the byproduct of this otherwise it'll stall out of course just slide that back a little more, I suppose. That should work. And where's our insulator on this guy? It's right there. All right, let's just do this. Okay, now we can turn these guys on. Well, actually, no. We gotta we gotta hook up the outputs. Um. Up, 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 up. Okay, I'm either going to have to sushi this or I'm going to have to set up two truck stations. I think I'm just going to sushi it. It's, it's, it's a small quantity, so it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, why don't we just sushi it? Okay. Um, so you hook there. And go there. Or no, sorry. Can't do that. Go this way. Let's get a merger. Put the output going that way. Uh, I'm not sure what that thinks it's lined up on, but it's not correct. Set you and then belt into here. Now we can turn them on because they sh I don't, they're not going to fill up before we get the truck station hooked up. Fuel too. Is there any coal really close by here? Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we. Uh, I'll have to hook up fuel on the other side. I'll figure that out later because there there is no. See, that's the one thing. If, if we get to the point where we can make the package fuel, we can put some of it in here, you know, to fuel the truck. But again, we're not we're not there yet. So we'll have to do that later. Okay, you go there. And make sure you're in straight mode. Go there. No clipping. There we go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have rubber and plastic in manufacture. Okay. Now we need to record the route. But I think I'm going to drive back to the base first and get the truck station set up 
on that. In fact, yeah, actually, we do need to do that first before we do the route. And also get a fuel solution going. And while we're doing that, in fact, let's just... I'm going to paint my, my way back and get our lines on, too. So I'll see you back on the other end. All right, guys, we're back on the other end. And let's see here. I'm going to... Uh, let's make this a two meter. Um, it's just going to bring it to there. It's almost, you know what? It, it's kind of pointless, I think, to try and pave for this. Cause I don't want to go real high and there's too much terrain covering it. So we're just not going to worry about it. So get a truck station and flip it around this way. And um let's see. Okay, hold on a sec. The tractor's gonna come through here. And I think what I'll do is I'll I'll keep it over here and then turn it sharp this way and load here. Yeah, okay. So right about there is probably good. Um, now let's pull it this way until it turns green. And I, I want to look at that because we got to come out of here. And we don't want to run into that belt. Um... Yeah, we're going to ha have to do a little bit of tricky belt. Well, not tricky, but we just, have to, we just have to make sure we don't run into that belt is all. We could... Oh, you know what we might be able to do, actually? Yeah, I got an idea. Except for... Hmm, to do that, we're going to have to move that forward some more. set it there our height is going to be off a bit because I didn't put this on a foundation all right maybe we should let's go t uh, two meter And yeah, it's going to clip there a little bit, but I want it on a foundation so our conveyor belts are, are level, right? So, right, why are you perpetually yellow? Oh, because I guess I wasn't out far enough. Is that, that's not really resting on the, on that, though, is there? Or is it? I think we can have the truck station up high. I don't believe it has to be, you know, down f flat for the... I'm just going to cover that. Does not give us a lot of room to to maneuver, though, does it? Let's just... Huh. I mean, it's doable, but I think it's doable. Can I actually... Now that I think about it. Can I drive up this way? rocks and shit in the way. Oh. Can we put the truck station here? Maybe.
Yeah, so we're not gonna have enough room for the belts if we do it that way. So, okay, let's not do that. We could, um, we could use half foundations. To give ourselves a little more room. No, I want it this way. Damn it, Jim. Went the wrong direction. Okay, that gives us a little bit more room. Let's get the truck station up here. And... Slide it all the way to... to there, I guess. That should give us enough room to run our belt behind here without interfering with that belt. And let's maybe move it back to there. Okay, so when we're coming this way... I don't really like going back there because of all that shit. I mean, I guess I could clear it, but... Bring the truck around here. Oh wow, that thing turned sharp. Okay, yeah, we can make this work. Sucker turns on a dime, man. Let's leave that there. Now you are an unload station. And your power connection is right there. So... Yes, we'll just do this. All right, now we got to get fuel to this. And if you recall a few episodes ago when we set up our, our quartz, which by the way, I got to fix something on that too. One of you guys pointed this out in the comments. Um, and I also noticed it even before then and when I was editing, but I reversed the overflow bin on the quartz. Uh, I got the smart splitter and the, and the storage bin backwards. So it's not storing the the quartz. So I got to fix that. But anyway, that's kind of beside the point. We have a, a 30 extra coal coming on that line, if you recall. Um, and we did that so that we could feed, um, we, we could fuel the other truck station. But that storage bin and that truck station is completely full, which means all pretty much almost all of that 30 extra coal, with the exception of, you know, having to fill the the tractor's tank up every time it comes back, which is less than 50, I think, is just going into the sink. So we actually have the ability to use this here. All right, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to put... Um, got to make sure we don't block our outputs here. If I put a lift on here, how far is that going to stick out? You son of a beech nut. All right, if I put this here and raise it up to there, can I still get a belt out of here and through here? Uh, yeah, I guess we can if we go down. Well. Yeah, I, we can make that work because it's going underneath it, so it's not actually a problem. 
question is, can I half nudge conveyor poles? I can't. All right, so then that means that's better right down the center. Okay, so let's get this coal line hooked up. We need to come just down to the bottom here. I don't even know why that's there. So let's reset this lift. I think it needs to go there. And then we want to put a splitter here. Is it going to give me a line by chance? It is not. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But that actually does look lined up. Okay, so let's just do this. And that didn't actually split. You know what? I don't want to interrupt that coal though. So let's let's do it. Well, that's not lined up anyway. Okay, so we got to do it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And I also think that's... Is that high enough? No. This needs to come up one more notch. But there. There we go. That takes care of our fuel problem. Um... I guess we can make this Mark III, it doesn't matter. Everything else I'm doing is Mark III, so this might as well be two. I guess the lift already was. Okay, good. So that takes care of the fuel. The fuel lean. Now what we want to do is we want to put a hanger here. you to do that it's like a little dip here before it goes up can't do anything about that I don't think okay now we're going to <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're gonna set up a couple storage here, and let's just maybe center it on this line here. And maybe bring it back so it's not right in front of our stairs. put one smart splitter here the right output is going to be plastic and then the rubber will just go through the center out the other side. That's all we got to do. It'll sort it for us. Uh, okay, so we are right here. Go back to... No, let's not do that. Let's... Do that, I think. That works. 
And I think we will also double these guys up just so we can get even more product. And I don't have a... We really should set up a sink solution here. Um, which we can actually do easily enough if we just overflow out the back of this. But if we're going to do that, I don't want to overhang over this. That means we need to pull all of this stuff forward. All right, let's do that. Okay, so now in this case, we want plastic out the right, rubber out the center, and overflow out the left. Okay. I'll put a sink here. right Our belt straight looks like it is where's our closest power pretty damn close all right that takes care of that I think we're ready to do this I think we're all set So the only thing that remains is to record the route. Um, also, I want to... Whoops. Uh, where do I want to actually start this? This does not need to be here. I can put that anywhere else. In fact, I don't even need it at all anymore now that we have the jetpack. For that matter. This gives us even more room to turn around here. Okay. So let's... Maybe we'll start the recording right here. But what I want to do is I want to use coal and not biofuel, so because we, we're going to need to be able to make a round trip without running out of coal. And I think we can. Pretty sure we can, but I just want to confirm that. So let's just pull this coal out of here. All right, ladies and gents, let's do this. <coughs> we'll start the recording, say, right here. Start recording. Here we go.
So now we want to stay over here. Come up to here and then cut it hard. And unload. Oh, I forgot to look at how much coal, but obviously we made it, so we have plenty. I figured we probably did, but I just wanted to double check. And that's it. Okay, let's save our path. And we're going to call this Oil Canyon. that's an appropriate thing to name this let's put turn on autopilot and there it goes and look at that we already have rubber and plastic looks like it's gonna do the plastic first but we also have rubber too oh that's beautiful here let's just throw those two in there as well Ladies and gentlemen, we now have rubber and plastic, which means we are now going to be able to do the bulk of, if not almost all of, our research for the next milestones. We do. We are going to need a substantial amount of steel stuff, um, and you know, obviously, we haven't automated steel yet, but. Uh, I really want Mark IV, so I'm going to handcraft this stuff. Uh, well, we've, we've already got the modular frame, so we just have to handcraft 300 EI beams, which isn't that big of a deal, you know? It'll take me, what, five minutes and I'll watch a YouTube video? Uh, but this is a thing we want to get as soon as possible so that we can do packaged fuel and so that we can do packaged liquid biofuel. Um, so that will almost certainly be our next milestone after we get Mark IV. And we just, in fact, we could do this right now. We have all of this right here and now. What the hell? Let's do it. Let's get her done, man. Shit, that, <laughs> that means I could go back and redo the fuel now, except for... I don't think I'm going to, in the, and definitely not in this episode, because we're, we're out of time. And plus, I'm really actually starting to feel sick, which sucks. Fucking hate COVID, man. God damn it. Oh, I guess you're going up. I've had COVID three times, and this is going to be the fourth time. Ugh. What can you do, right? What can you do? But this is great, though. We can get the packaging going. Um, Let's see. It said it needed... Oh, well, here. Let's just select it, and then it'll put it up on the screen. Select milestone. There we go. Um, Actually, can I put that stuff in there from the depot? It doesn't, no, it doesn't show, it doesn't show the depot. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, well, I guess we have to do it manually. Kind of surprises me. We need 400 of these. We're starting to run out of those again. Any chance we're going to have enough of these? Oh, yeah, we probably do, actually. So let's let's shut this off because I'm gonna run myself all the way out of steel beams again, and then our sheets are here, I think. Yes. So we need a thousand of these. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, baby. Okay. Milestone reached. Avoid the embarrassment of placing liquids in your pockets only for them to spread across your suit. <laughs> yeah, right. Package and unpackage them with the packager. Right. Packaging fluids allows them to be transported in your inventory, on conveyor belts, and by vehicles. For increased, non-pocket related fluid storage, <laughs> you can now use the industrial fluid bottle. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Nice. That is a really nice milestone. I've been wanting that for a while. So, uh, Logistics Mark Fair will be the very next one that we will do. 
So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to let you go here. And in the next episode, we will go back out to our little oil production. And we will set it up to make a packaged fuel. Which will be, um, you know, which, which we're going to use, right? We're going to use it uh, in, in our vehicles. And I will temporarily use it in the jetpack until we get liquid biofuel set up. Um, which we really kind of need to do here because this is our biofuel plant. So I might end up needing to rearrange some of this. Because we're, we're going to have to make room on this pad for a big ass refinery to make all that work. But we'll figure it out. And uh, that'll just, that'll be good. See, oil and plastic, well, oil turned into plastic and rubber really open up some next level stuff for us. And so this was definitely worthwhile to do. All of our other projects, our cosmetics on our pyramid, our steel factory, that's all going to happen too. Trust me, it will. It's just, I think it's worthwhile for us to, you know, uh, take these little side steps to get this stuff done so we can advance on the milestones and get better shit, um, you know, now. So we will get to that stuff. Don't worry if you are worried. You're probably not worried. You probably don't give a shit at all. Um, but in case some of you are, <laughs> we will. We'll get to it. I promise. I promise we will get to it. Come hell or high water. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. I am going to take all of these up to the space elevator without counting them. I'm pretty sure we'll have enough. Well, what the hell? I'll keep you with me so we can all see together. You know what? This is bugging me the daylights out of me. We don't need rails at the bottom of the stairs. Especially since now we have a jetpack. Alright, let's see what happens here. Nice! Completed and we have a few left over which we're going to need in the future. Fantastic. We are one third of the way to phase three, ladies and gentlemen. One third of the way. It's a beautiful thing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.